damn phones. Babylon's can't crack the code. The 2021 college football season is drawing to an end as the national championship is set between Alabama and Georgia, a rematch of the SEC championship game. As countless bowl games are being played and everyone is talking about the college football playoff, something that I feel like that is being overlooked right now and not talked about enough is the state of Hawaii football. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about everything that has been going on this season with Hawaii head coach Todd Graham and the Hawaii football program. Now before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. Hawaii football has been a pretty consistent team these past couple decades, almost consistently being a bowl team every year that they're playing in college football besides the very rough stretch that they had from 2011 all the way up to 2015. That was a really rough stretch for them as the program was not very good. They are by no means a blue blood and for them to be a consistent bowl team is pretty good for Hawaii football. But today's topic is talking about the state of Hawaii football now which Hawaii football has been going to bowl games recently, as this year was supposed to be their fourth straight bowl game, but unfortunately, they were not able to play in it due to low numbers on their roster. You may be wondering, how can a football program that is about to go to its fourth straight bowl game appearance before it had to be canceled, how are they possibly in a bad spot? And to find out what's the main problem of Hawaii football right now, you have to look at their head coach, Todd Graham. And we got to talk about his background first of how he got to Hawaii. Todd Graham has been a head coach for a total of 14 seasons. He first got his starting head coaching spot at Rice in 2006, where he went 7-6 and, and led them to a bowl game appearance in which they lost. He would then go to Tulsa in which they were a pretty dang good team as they had two 10-win seasons and one season where they even went 11-3 and, and he was undefeated in bowl games. He would then be at Pitt in 2011 where they were very disappointing and he was only there for one season because they went 6-6. Six and six. Then he would be at Arizona State from 2012 to 2017 where he had his moments but ultimately would end up getting fired after 2017 due to not really reaching expectations like they wanted him to especially after he had two back-to-back 10 -back win seasons early on since his ending at arizona state todd graham would take a break from coaching college football as he would not have another head coaching job or assistant job of that nature on the collegiate level and he would just have a break of course that was until the hawaii job came open the Hawaii job would come open after the 2019 college football season in which Hawaii would go 10-5, and their first 10-win season since 2010, and their head coach, Nick Rolovich, that helped rebuild that program from the bad Norm Chow era. Rolovich would end up taking his talents to the Pac-12, the Power 5 level, and becoming the head coach of Washington State. When it came time to make a decision about who would be the next head coach for Hawaii, it would end up being Todd Graham, which honestly did not seem like a bad hire at all, as Todd Graham had experience. He had the experience everywhere. He had it on the group of five level and the power five level. He had some success as well and they thought this would be the guy that could keep Hawaii football afloat and make them potentially even a better team. I mean the guy had a decent record as a head coach winning about 60% of the games that he coached and having a six and four bowl record. And in Todd Graham's first season as the head coach of Hawaii in the weird 2020 season, it was a decent year as Hawaii would end up going five and four and even winning the New Mexico Bowl. And knowing how much they were losing from the 2019 squad to the 2020 squad, this was overall a pretty decent season. For year two under Todd Graham at Hawaii, things 
honestly kind of remained the same as Hawaii had their fair share of ups and downs this season as a team for games. As in the regular season, they finished 6-7, and seven, and going into the Hawaii Bowl that they were supposed to play, they would have a chance to finish 7-7 seven and seven or 6-8 and eight if they would beat or lose to Memphis. Even though it was not the best season on paper, they were still a bowl team after all, and that's not the worst for year two under a head coach. But the problem is, there was something much worse going on behind the scenes. Hawaii was supposed to play Memphis in the Hawaii Bowl, but just 24 hours before kickoff, the game would end up getting canceled. And this was because Hawaii did not have enough players to put on the field and play the game. And this is primarily because of transfers. Yep. Hawaii has a lot of transfers in the portal right now, and a lot of them are key players to the team this season and the previous season that are starters. They have roughly about 20 plus players that have entered the portal, and it seems like none of them are going to return, and it seems like there's a lot more that could be following suit. It's nothing new to see players enter the portal, but the thing is, Hawaii has had players entering the portal the entire season, and even more now at the end of the season. The players are not happy at Hawaii. And the main reason why people are leaving is because of head coach Todd Graham. Anonymous players have even come out and spoken about Todd Graham. They have said Graham has killed their passion and love for the game of football, a sport that they have been playing all their lives. Leading rusher for Hawaii, Day Day Hunter, on November 30th during the season, announced he was entering the portal. He thanked his teammates and the people of Hawaii, but he did say this, It's best for my future and mental health that I enter the transfer portal and see where my journey continues. It's also been said by anonymous players that Graham always preached family-centric values and how he wanted the team to be a family. But when he was coaching and coaching them in practices, it was nothing but verbal abuse. Coaches are always going to yell. But going around and talking about how your players are useless and telling them that all the time is going to eventually make your players feel useless and make them hate the sport of football. Which if your players are not enjoying being there, you're not going to get the best product on the field. It's also being reported by anonymous players that Graham is someone that plays favorites. And if you're not a scholarship player or someone that's providing a lot of value on the depth chart, he's more than likely not going to recognize you at all. And even if you're on scholarship, if you're not really showing a lot of value on the depth chart, Todd Graham is honestly more than likely not really going to care about you at all. Graham also apparently would openly talk about how Hawaii was just a stepping stone for him and how he wanted to leave Hawaii to go to the NFL. He was not set on staying in Hawaii and he was openly telling all the players that. The Hawaii Bowl that they were supposed to participate in versus Memphis this bowl season would end up not happening, and this was a game that Todd Graham really wanted to be in, and all the players knew that. The players, of course, want to play, and it's out of their control about if they can play or not with the numbers that they had. But there's players that knew that Graham would end up getting a $20,000 bonus if they participated, and a $40,000 bonus if they won. And a lot of players are very unhappy that Graham is more than likely not able to get fired by Hawaii until his contract is done. And this is because Hawaii doesn't have the money to buy out his contract and to pay him all that money if he gets fired early. And this is why a lot of players are transferring, especially starters on both sides of the ball. A lot of people on the team want him gone, including alumni of the Hawaii football program. But since he really can't get fired by Hawaii until the end of his term, everybody is leaving. If you've made it this far in the video, comment something down in the comment section below of what do you think about this situation happening in Hawaii right now. And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out.